Shalom. This week's sedra is sedras Bahar B'chul Kosai. Two different sedras. Our sedra dub- starts off like many other parshot in the Torah. God telling Moshe what to tell the Jewish people. As the sedra opens, God spoke to Moshe on Har Sinai saying, Speak to the Jewish people and you shall say to them, When you come to the land that I am giving you, the land that, uh, that shall rest the Shabbat to the Lord. The Ramban noticed something unique about this episode of God talking to Moshe. The Ramban explained that after Moshe broke the Luchot, the tablets that the Ten Commandments were written on, the confidence that Hashem had sealed with the Jewish people at Har Sinai was negated. At the point of the Torah story that this week's Torah portion discussed, Hashem has Moshe teach more laws, and these new laws act as a sealing of a second covenant with the Jewish people. When Hashem called him to receive the Torah, Moshe climbed Har Sinai, received the Torah, and came down the mountain only to find B'nai Yisrael worshipping the golden calf. As children, we are told that in his anger, Moshe broke the Luchot. But the Talmud explains that he acted with cruel calculation. The Talmud explains Moshe's rationale for throwing down the Luchot. Follow the logic. The law is that a Gentile cannot eat of the Pesach offering, and nor can a Jew who has rejected the mitzvahs. Moshe reasoned that if a Jew who rejected the mitzvahs cannot eat the Korban Pesach, then the people who are serving a golden calf should be prohibited from receiving the Luchot. The Talmud points out that in, de- in describing this episode, the Torah uses an odd word, and that word is chosen to show that Hashem congratulated Moshe on his actions, in effect saying that in breaking the Luchot, Moshe acted correctly. The Ramban questions the Talmud's explanation of Moshe's rationale for breaking the Luchot. According to the Talmud, Moshe reasoned that Bnei Yisrael were not worthy and therefore should not receive the Luchot. However, the Ramban points out that after such a serious sin, Bnei Yisrael was in great need of the Luchot to show them the way to repentance, and this should outweigh their lack of merit. Indeed, the purpose of the Luchot is to show those who sin the correct way to act and the need for repentance. And in fact, the need for repentance by Bnei Yisrael is not in question and was recognized even by Moshe. His alarming action was intended instead to shock the people into recognizing the gravity of their sin. Indeed, Bnei Yisrael did react by recognizing the gravity of their sin and thereafter began to repent. Moshe's purpose was to shock the people into repentance, and this strategy was more effective in bringing about their repentance than he had given them the Luchot. Moshe's view of the people of Har Sinai, post the golden calf as unworthy to receive the Torah, explains the Rabban's contention that these new laws in our sedra are given within the context of a new covenant. A covenant between man and God is sealed in order to solidify the relationship between God and man. God wants man to recognize that mitzvahs aren't mere commands that man must obey. They are actually vehicles to build a relationship with God. The relationship between man and God is unique in that it is built on mitzvahs. What an important lesson to, have, to learn this week in this week's Sedra and to end off Sefer Vayikra. Shabbat Shalom.